Hi, this is Jackie from ESLspeaking.org. So today I'm going to talk about Typhoon. It's a fun ESL game that I use to review material before a midterm or final exam. I use it with all ages, from um, kindergarten students, elementary school, high school, university students, and adults. They've all loved it equally. It's a very versatile game, and it's slightly more interesting than kind of the standard Jeopardy. It's just something that students wouldn't have seen before. Um, one of my friends at one of my universities in Korea came up with it, shared the idea with me. I think he actually came up with it by himself, so it's kind of an original idea. All right, so Typhoon. So I make up a grid, usually like about maybe five by five or six by six. And then I put letters, A, B, C, D, E, and then across the top I put numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six. On the board, the students just have blank squares. They don't know what's in each square. But I have a paper that lists questions for each square. There's also, also some special squares. So if I have a board of 25 or 36, I would maybe have two typhoons. Typhoon is losing everything. <laughs> so all the points you have up to that point are gone if you choose that typhoon square. The next one is hurricane. So hurricane is you lose minus of five points. So of course, play it up. <laughs> so you could say something like, ooh, bad weather is coming. And then I always write in the square um, the letter. So T for typhoon, H for hurricane. There's also easy, medium, and difficult questions. So E and T and H all start the same, one line down. So I write the one line and then students, oh, is it easy? Is it difficult? Is it a typhoon? Is it a hurricane? I like to drag it out very slowly and they get very excited about it. So that's hurricane. And then the next one is vacation. So vacation is you just get five free points without having to do a question. Then the other squares are all filled with questions. So easy is one point. Medium questions are three points and then difficult questions are five points. So all of these questions are midterm or final exam review questions. So just whatever material you've been teaching in class, you can do um, on your Typhoon game. So I put students into usually groups of say, uh, I try to do it with like four or five people on a team and maybe four or five teams um, to play this game. Of course, adjust it depending on the class size. Um, and my rule is that um, students usually have to appoint a captain. And if they get a question, I'll say the question to them. I give them a short amount of time, say like 20 seconds, to discuss their answer with their team. And then the captain will say the answer out for their team. If correct, they get the points. If incorrect, um, I sometimes will subtract the points for higher level classes, which is kind of mean. Or... Um, for lower level classes, just nothing happens. They just don't get the points. All right, so I hope you like this review game. Please leave a comment below and tell me your favorite ESL review game that you like to do before an exam in your classes. And please hit like, subscribe, tell your friends, and be sure to check out my book on Amazon, 39 ESL Vocabulary Activities for Kids. All right, until next time. Bye, everybody.